Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome back to your girl channel. Welcome to your girl channel for all that are new. So today y'all, we are making some homemade ghost. Ooh, tis the season, ghost pizzas, okay? We finna get it in. For all that don't celebrate Halloween, this is just a little fun, simple, cute, tis the season, okay? All right, so we making some ghost pizza, okay? We're gonna have our fries, our fries are right here. I'm gonna go ahead and season these very shortly. And it's just some regular old fries, you know? I like to season my fries lately with this. So I just put this up here. Then we're gonna add a little black pepper on our fries. Then I'm gonna just mix it up. Oops. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. Simple! Got the idea. I need like a towel. I'm gonna have to go get a towel. Okay, y'all, so for our pizza, let me go ahead and cut this light on too. For our pizza, y'all, we're on our pizza as a topping. So we got some chicken fajitas. Of course, we got some pepperoni. And of course, for our cheese, we're gonna do mozzarella because that has like the string pull that we need. <laughs> and we got the thick slice of mozzarella, okay? And here's our tomato sauce. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pour our tomato sauce in our pan right here. We really don't need much, honestly, we really don't. I think that'll be enough for our pizza and we could just save the rest. Yeah, we're gonna save the rest. I'm about to put it in the container. So I got our tomato sauce in here. I'm gonna go in with some parsley. It's like a fun dish. A fun, easy, simple. I feel like it's good for the kids. I don't have any kids, but all that do have kids, you know, little siblings, cousins, anybody that you can do this with for the holiday season will be perfect. Okay, have to have some oregano in there. As y'all know, we just made ziti. I feel like I'm doing the same thing, but this is just pizza. Garlic powder. We're gonna do a little lemon pepper. We're gonna do some onion powder. Okay. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna just mix this up. We're gonna do a taste tester. So stay tuned and tap in. We're gonna add our granulated sugar in here y'all of course we don't need much but we just need it to be a little decent this pizza we don't really want no tangy pizza no. okay i just turned it down a little to let it cool off but it is smelling so good oh this is so hot let's see let's see what it's giving Trying to see where to put this, I guess right here. All right, y'all, so we about to make the good pizza. So here's our grilled chicken, y'all. So this is what it's giving right now. Okay, y'all, so this is how our sauce turned out after all, and it tastes really good. I had to add a good amount of sugar. Um, we added black pepper, a good amount of black pepper in here as well. Let's see. And then you just keep adding all of your seasonings. Like all of your seasonings you be um, putting in there, you just add it throughout it. That's what I did. And I added extra sugar. Not too much, y'all. Y'all seen that little hoe? It's real little. But yeah. It still tastes good. It's real good. It's got a little spice to it because it's that black pepper. So 
up with some work. Do I need this? Not really. All right, so we're gonna cut it into like a ghost shape. <laughs> I'm weak. Okay, so here we go. It's gonna be little though. It'll be alright. I gotta outline it first. Oh shoot! Hold on. <laughs> all right, y'all. So what's up? So I had attempted to already do a ghost state, as y'all seen. So now what I'm going to do? I'm just about to look at a picture of a ghost, trace it out, and it's gonna be off camera. So give me one moment, and we're gonna get back at. Okay, y'all, here's the ghost. All right, y'all, so I just had to take a moment to come and talk to y'all because I didn't do it in the video. But you see that plastic black knife that's really under the pizza pan? That helped me out way more than the pizza cutter I was trying to outline with. And instead of cutting pieces off of the dough, I decided to just shape the dough that we already had. So that's why you see it's really nothing cut off. It's just shaped in the shape of the ghost. I finally came to my senses, y'all. And also, the eyes and the mouth, we just did that. And then everything will go in from there. Thanks to me and my man, because my man really did help, but this is what it looked like. It's cute. Okay. So, we got the pepperonis, our cheese, everything out. So, I'm going to go ahead and just start putting the sauce on it. All right, so I'm gonna put the sauce on all of this, y'all. And then I'm really coming right back after I do that. All right, so we got our mozzarella. Our sauce is laid out perfect on the go. Pizza. I'm gonna go in with the cheese. I'm trying to cover every edge, y'all. Okay, that's what's gonna make it real good. Oh, hold on now. I don't want the eyeballs to be too far. I'm gonna have to fix that. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and keep doing this, y'all. Enough. That should be enough. All right, y'all. So we're gonna go ahead with the pepperonis. Mm -hmm. I do gotta fix that part where the eyes at, cause I really want that to be shown. So now I'm just gonna go in with some red pepper flakes. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the oven. It said around like 16 minutes. So I'm gonna put it in there for like 15 to 16 minutes. And we'll see how it turns out. Okay, y'all, this is how our ghost pizza turned out. Very delicious. All right, y'all, so this is how it turned out. This is how it looks. Hope y'all can really see that. <laughs> ghost pizza <laughs> but yeah y'all i hope y'all enjoyed i hope y'all enjoyed this content thank you so very much for tuning back in with your girl until the next video and here's a closer view y'all of course make sure you follow the instructions on cooking a pizza i just wanted this video to be short sweet and cute the best temperature to bake a pizza is on 425 and follow the time of the instructions. Make sure you have a good pizza pan. But as always, thank y'all for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe.